Hey friends, welcome to the Plat X2 channel. My name is John. On this channel, we talk all things physical media, so movies, music, and books. If you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe down below for more of that kind of content. So anyway, this video is one I've been really looking forward to do. We are in the final stretch of the uh, Barnes & Noble Criterion sale. And if you're a Criterion fan, I hope you've got the titles that you were hoping to pick up during this sale. Uh, for me, I was there the other day and there are just always so many titles I wanna pick up, but you gotta be good and you gotta stay within your budget. So I did pick up a handful that I was really, really looking forward to grabbing. Three in particular that were must buys for me and then one that I just, I went in there and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna pick up one that I wasn't planning on picking up, but one that I did have on my list and so I got to pick up another one. But there are three in particular I really wanted. So anyway, in this video, I wanna show you what I did pick up in this sale, but also wanna do a, um, an update on the collection. Uh, since my last Criterion video, I've added a, a number of other titles uh, from uh, the video game movie dome. I picked up a few other additional Criterion titles. So anyway, uh, the collection has definitely grown since the last sale, uh, between sales. So anyway, uh, friends, here we go. Let's uh, look at what I picked up during this sale and then how the collection has grown from there. So here are the titles I picked up during this uh, Barnes & Noble Criterion sale. Uh, one of them will be from Amazon, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. So what I'll do is I'll walk through these titles uh, by their spine number. And the first one is spine number 201. It's from 19. 52. It is an Italian film. Really excited about this one. I heard really good things about it and excited to add it to the collection. It wasn't one that I was like, I must have this film, but it is one that I've been looking at um, for a little over a year now. And that is uh, Umberto D. Really excited to check this one out. I've only heard great things about this film uh, in checking out other people's um, pickups during the sales and other people telling, give, making suggestions of what Criterion films to pick up. This is uh, on so many lists out there. So anyway, really excited to pick this one up and really looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, the next one is the one I picked up on Amazon. And so it was $19.99 with like a $2.63 coupon, digital coupon. So I got this cheaper than I would have got it at Barnes & Noble. And this is one of the three. The next three are like the ones I have to have during the sale. This is spine number 565. It's from 1940, and it is from one of my all-time favorite creators. And uh, it is The Great Dictator, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, I have seen this film. I've watched it once since picking it up, and I want to watch it again uh, very soon uh, to study this film because I think Chaplin was an absolute genius. I'm hoping on this channel uh, coming uh, within this year, coming in the new year, uh, doing an eight part series on all the films uh, within the Criterion Collection that are from Charlie Chaplin, having conversations with other YouTubers, fans of film on his films. And anyway, this is one that I was really excited to pick up and check out. So I need to watch this again to study it a little bit more before I want to have full-blown conversation on it. But um, from what I've seen so far, I really enjoy it. Really glad to have it. And I will say with this edition uh, of this, some of the Criterion stuff, you get a booklet in there and sometimes you get like a pamphlet and uh, it's kind of unimpressive. Uh, this one has a great book in there. The artwork on the inside is outstanding. So anyway, um, really excited to check this one out. Uh, the next film is one I have not seen. I haven't seen the next two. Really excited about them though. And it is spine number 652. It's from 1947. It is also Charlie Chaplin. It's Monsieur, Monsieur Verdu. And uh, so anyway, really, really excited to pick this one up. Um, watched a bunch of stuff on it. Watched commentary on it. Watched trailers on it. And um, these, this one, the one before, uh, and maybe the next one I'll show you, are all Charlie, it is, spoiler alert, all Charlie Chaplin films that are his talk. So Criterion had released five silent films, three talkies. This time around, I picked up the three talkies. Really excited to check this one out. It is very dark. It's calm. It's comedic, but it's really dark. And uh, they, well, I heard one person describe it as it's a comedy meets a serial killer, which sounds horrible. Um, but anyway, Chaplin was a very unique artist. I'm excited to check this one out and looking forward again, hopefully in the new year, having um, eight an eight-part series discussing all of his films. Excited to check that out. And last one, I already told you what it is. Spine number is 756. It's from 1952, and it is Limelight. Uh, this one, uh, from all that I've read on it, all that I've watched on it, is kind of autobiographical for him, of a guy on the back end of his career where once was really famous, really relevant, and not so much anymore. So anyway, in the clips that I've seen from it, uh, there's a couple lines that are just absolutely heartbreaking. So I'm excited to check this one out. I am reading a book right now on Charlie Chaplin's life. 
life. And so again, when we come to these films, hopefully in an eight part series in the new year, I'm looking forward to discussing these films, what was going on in his life, diving into all the special features on these films uh, because there is so much to dig into. Uh, this one also has a massive booklet on the inside with just gorgeous artwork. Um, friends, if you have not checked out Chaplin Films, I have to tell you, I, I just think he just was the most brilliant artist and um, so worth checking out. This one also uh, has great artwork inside and a huge booklet as well. And I just love reading on these films. And so the more Criterion offers on these films, the better. Uh, so anyway, those are the four I picked up during this sale. But what I want to do now is share with you uh, the updated collection because I have picked up other films recently, um, not through uh, Barnes & Noble sale, but through uh, the Video Game Movie Dome. So anyway, here's my collection. Uh, and we passed, we hit the 25, the quarter century mark in my Criterion collection. This is spine number 22 and it is from 1955 and it is summertime. I think I mentioned this in a few videos back. I found this in mint condition at a Goodwill for $2. And this is one of the ones where you get like a pamphlet on the inside. One of these older ones. I do believe this does not have a Blu-ray release, um, but looking forward to checking that out. I just get it, got it not that long ago, so haven't checked it out. This next one I picked up from Video Game Movie Dome. This is spine number 139 from 1957, and it is uh, in Swedish, and it is Wild Strawberries. And uh, I watched this the other night. Ingmar Bergman watched this one the other night, and it's beautiful and powerful and everything I heard it was going to be it turned out to be uh, this is one that I do need to, again watch similar to the great dictator watch again fairly soon um, to just kind of soak in the power and the depth and the meat of this film so anyway wild strawberries really excited about that one and really enjoyed watching it on my first watch through uh, the next one is spy number 173 it's from 1943 and it is the life and death of colonel blimp i just recently picked this one up at the video game movie dome and uh i haven't seen this one yet again i just picked it up not long ago but looking forward to checking that one out this one, same story, from the Video Game Movie Dome, spine number 216 from 1939. This is a French film, and it is The Rules of the Game. I just picked this one up not that long ago. Again, Video Game Movie Dome, so I have not watched this film, but really excited to check this one out. This next one is Legend in the Criterion Collection, spine number 221 from 1952. I have seen this. It's in Japanese. It's Ikiru. And... Uh, when I started collecting Criterion again, which is just about a year and a half ago, um, I was told this is like a must have in every Criterion collection. And they're absolutely right. It is so powerful, so beautiful. Uh, the content, like the dialogue, um, the messaging and the visuals. This is just heartbreaking. It, it, you need to check out Akiru if you've never seen this film. Gorgeous, beautiful, powerful film. This is one I picked up at a Goodwill also not long ago. And for $2, mint condition. And I watched this this week and it was amazing. Loved it. I will be upgrading this one at some point. Once I get the other films I want, I will be upgrading to Blu-ray. And it is number, spine number 306. It's from 1967. It is a French film, uh, Le Samurai. And this is amazing. It is someone, I read one commentary on it. It said, this is a cool film. And which I thought, uh, Criterion, like, I don't know if you should probably raise the bar on your descriptors of Criterion films. But this legit is such a cool film. Um, anyway, if you've never seen this one, check it out. I really, really enjoyed it. It's one I will upgrade on Blu-ray for sure. And if you also like Criterion Collection films that have a great booklet, this one has a massive book on the film. Highly recommend this one. The next one is one that I would also highly recommend. This broke my heart. It's such a great film. It's from uh, Spy Number 331. It's from 1949. In black and white, it is a Japanese film as well, and it is late spring. Uh, I have a daughter, and so for me, this got all the heartstrings of the father-daughter relationship. And if you've never seen this one, you gotta check it out. You don't have to be have the father-daughter relationship in your life uh, to enjoy and appreciate this film. It's just a gorgeous film about love and caring for the people in your family. Um, check this one out, late spring, really good. This next one, again, is uh, one that is legendary in the Criterion Collection. Everybody has to own this one. It's spine number 374 from 1948. It is an Italian film, and um, it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, Bicycle Thieves. And uh, the end of this film, when I got to the end, it, it had me the whole time. When I got to the end of the film, I didn't think it was going to end that way. 
but it was perfect. It was a perfect ending, and uh, I loved this film. It's definitely one I will go back to time and time again. So good. Bicycle Thieves, check it out if you haven't. Uh, this is spine number 505. This is one of the most beautiful, I don't watch many traditionally romantic films. I found this film so romantic. It's heartbreaking. It makes you think a lot, but it's romantic. Spine number 505 from 1937, and it is Make Way for Tomorrow. Right here, Make Way for Tomorrow. I love the artwork on the front. It also has a great booklet on the inside with great artwork. Um, this is gorgeous. It's heartbreaking. It's heartwarming. Um, it makes you think. It may, uh, anyway, check out this film. So, so good from 1937. My main man, Charlie Chaplin. Spine number 543 from 1936. Uh, 87 minutes long, and it is Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. It is so good, and it is a social commentary mixed with Chaplin's um, ability to just um, be so creative and comedic in any situation. Uh, Chaplin, uh, the choreography in his films is perfect. Uh, he's a genius of an artist and a comedian. He's also at the same time able to pull like such dramatic um, movements and themes in his films while being so funny. So anyway, Modern Times, excellent, excellent film. Highly recommend it. Uh, this one is just a legendary film as well. This is Spy Number 591 from 1957, and it is 12 Angry Men. Um, I don't have much to say on this outside of what has already been said about this film. It's perfect. It's great. It's powerful. It's, um, it's amazing. If you've never seen this film, you need to check it out. 12 Angry Men. Uh, the next one, spine number 615 from 1942, and it is another Chaplin film. It is The Gold Rush. Now, I read on this film that it was Chaplin's, maybe his funniest, and to be honest with you, I didn't find it to be his funniest. I liked it. I really, really enjoyed it, and because I love Chaplin so much, um, I appreciate it, and I'll go back to it many, many times. Um, but anyway, The Gold Rush, I do recommend the film. It is really great, but I disagree that, I, that it's his funniest film. I think he's got some other work that's a little funnier. Uh, great artwork on the inside, great booklet as well. I do recommend it. I recommend everything. Chaplin is done. Next film, Chaplin. Spine number 680 from 1931. is 86 minutes long. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful film. That is City Lights. Uh, if you've never seen this film, you got to check this film out. It is gorgeous. It is so funny, heartwarming. It's per romantic. It is perfect. It's a great, great film, City Lights. Definitely check that out. This next one is a recent watch for me and also picked it up at Video Game Movie Dome. This is spine number 732 from 1946. It is 97 minutes long, My Darling Clementine. Uh, again, this is a film that I want to revisit again very, very soon. Um, there's a lot to work through in it. Uh, phenomenal acting, but what really stands out in this film is the scenery. Just like the cinematography of this film is absolutely gorgeous. And so uh, this is one that I want to revisit again very soon to just, again, appreciate all that is going on because there's so much to look at while you're listening to the dialogue going on. There's so much to look at. So anyway, My Darling Clementine, really, really great film, newer to the collection. Uh, and this one is my favorite Chaplin film. This is Spine 799 from 1921, only 53 minutes long, and it is The Kid. Um, this got me uh, for Chaplin. I saw this film and I fell in love with his work. Uh, I've been a huge fan ever since I've seen this. So anyway, you've got to check this film out. Again, with, this is a real common theme for Chaplin, especially in the silent films, is just ridiculous, amazing, beautifully choreographed comedy, and at the same time, it's getting your heart strings. And so anyway, this is I love this film. It's perfect. It's my favorite Chaplin film, The Kid. Check it out. This next one uh, stars my all-time favorite actress. This is spine number 806 from 1939. It's 121 minutes. It is Only Angels Have Wings. It's a Howard Hawks film. Cary Grant and Jean Arthur, who is my all-time favorite actress. Uh, this is a great film. It was really different for me seeing Jean Arthur in this role from the other films of hers that I've seen her in. I have quite a few of her films in my collection. Um, so it was very different for me, um, but it's... Cary Grant and Gene Arthur. So it was so, so good. And so anyway, I do recommend this film. This is one that I recently saw and really, really enjoyed. I enjoy everything Gene Arthur's in, though. A few more. Eight, spine number 867. This is from 1942. It is 114 minutes long, and this is a... Uh, 
an acting team that you are just legendary. And so the film is Woman of the Year, Spencer Tracy, Spencer Tracy Catherine Hepburn. Uh, it is an absolutely gorgeous film, really, really funny. Uh, I enjoyed this thoroughly, and their chemistry is so, so good. I've seen a few of their films, and I love watching them on screen together. And they're, they're just so different in this film. And but then they end up in relationship together, and it's just so, so good. Um, really fun watch is how I'll describe it. Check out this one, Woman of the Year. Four more films, friends, and that will be the final update for this Criterion Collection. Uh, this is spine number 970 from 1957. It is 126 minutes long, starring one of my favorite actors, Andy Griffith, and it is a face in the crowd. Um, check this one out, especially with all that we're going through right now, uh, politically in this country, Highly recommend you check out this film. An amazing commentary. Again, this is from 1957. So incredibly current and incredibly relevant to what we're going through today. And uh, Andy Griffith, if you know him from The Andy Griffith Show, uh, this is not the Andy Griffith you know in this film. So, so, so good. Highly recommend you check this one out. Three more, spine number 996 from 1928. This is my last Chaplin film and it is Circus. And this is a great film. Now this film, there are some parts in it that I find absolutely hilarious where I was watching it with my daughter and I rewound it while watching it through my first time through. I ended up rewinding it a couple of times uh, because it was so funny and I was laughing out loud so many times at some of the ridiculous pranks and bits he did in this film. So anyway, it's Chaplin, so I recommend everything he ever did. Charlie Chaplin in the circus. Last two, this next one is spine number uh, 1011 from 1964. It is black and white, and it is failsafe. Cindy Lumet, uh, Cindy Lumet film, and uh, it's great. It's a tension. Um, I watched this one maybe a month or so ago. A lot of tension, and I don't want to spoil anything in the film. It's so good. Uh, Walter Matthau, young Walter Matthau is in this film, which for me is a big selling point because I love Walter Matthau. Um, but if you haven't seen this film, it's absolutely worth it. You really enjoy it. Now, if you're talking like tension movies today, um, my wife and I, as we were watching it, we were like, some parts seemed a little silly compared to like the tension you might have in a film, a modern film, but it was, it's so good. I highly recommend it. I'll watch it many, many times. Fail safe, outstanding film. And the last one starring one of my all-time favorite actors. This is spine number 1024 from 1939. It is 94 minutes long and it is Destry Rides Again. This is so, so good. And uh, uh, Marlene Dietrich, she has some comedic parts in this film that I was not expecting from her, and I lost it laughing. So good, and James Stewart is legend, all-time legend. I love his films, and I try to collect as many of them as I can. Um, if you've never seen this one, Criterion Collection did a beautiful job on this, Destry Rides Again. Friends, I picked up four in the collection to add to it, and I've hit finally the 25 mark in my Criterion Collection. It's not very big compared to many of them, many other, people collection, many other people's collections here on YouTube, but, um, I love this collection so far. I'm enjoying building it. So anyway, let me know what you picked up down below in the comments uh, during this sale, this Barnes & Noble slash Amazon Criterion sale. Uh, let me know some films that you think, after hearing what how I've kind of curated my collection, what films you think I might like that I should add to the collection, or maybe films that you think, John, you need to stretch, you need to spread your wings, try something a little different. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think I should pick up next time, and let me know what you've picked up during the sale. Friends, I hope you're doing really well. If you like this video and you want more of this kind of content, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. And uh, do hit like if you did enjoy uh, this video. I hope you're doing really well. Hope you're staying safe. Take care, you guys. We'll see you next time. Oh,